Good day guys and welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you solving word problem involving partitive proportion. Please watch the video until the end. Let's do it. Solving word problems involving partitive proportion. Word problem. The ratio of chairs to tables is 2 to 5. There are 210 chairs and tables in a party. How many are there of, of each kind? So, sa solution natin, una sulat natin ang 2 to 5. Tapos yung total, total ay 210. So ngayon, alamin natin kung ang ratio na to. So, gawin natin yung 2 ay, alamin natin kung ilang number yan ng chair. So, 2 times in. Tapos itong 5, gawin natin 5 times number equals 210 so 2n plus 5n equals 7n so equals 210 so sa so pagpatuloy 7n equals 200 10. So, divide lang natin ang 7 dito. Divide din tayo ng 7 dito dahil pariho ang gagawin natin. Divide tayo ng 7 to 7 in. Then, dito naman sa 200, divide din tayo ng 7. So, cancel natin ang 7. Ang natira ay yung in o yung unknown number natin. Tapos, divide natin ngayon ang 7 sa 210 so let natin 210 divide 7 so 21 divided by 7 is 3 3 times 7 is 21 so get the difference the difference is 0 so hindi na natin susulat tapos bring down natin itong 0 so, 0 divided by 7 is 0. 0 times 7 is 0. Get the difference. The difference is 0. So, yung ano number natin is 30. Ngayon, alamin natin ang kung ilang chairs ang mayroon doon sa party. So, 2... 2, tapos yung n natin is equal to 30 so 2 times 30 is equal to 60 so there are 60 to 60 chairs ngayon ito naman tayo sa t-ball so ang tables ay 5 times number sulat so, natin ang 5 tapos substitute natin ang value ng in natin which is 30 so, 5 times 30 is 150 so there are 150 tables in a party. So, ang, ang total ay ang 210 na chairs and tables. Ang 16 yan ay chairs at ang 115 yan ay tables. Solving word problems involving partitive proportion.
partitive proportion word problem two numbers are in the ratio of 5 to 3 if the sum is 96 find the two numbers so our solution is first we have to write 5 to 3 then the sum is 96 ngayon para ma-solve natin hanapin natin ang kung anong number ang 5 so lagay natin dito 5 times number plus 3 times number dahil gusto alamin din natin yung yung small number then write the equal sign and then the total which is 96 ngayon ay add natin ang 5 in at 3 in equals 8 in so equals 96 sunod ay kopyahin natin ang 8 in equals 96 sunod ay divide natin ang 8 dito divide natin tapos divide din tayo ng 8 dito so cancel natin ang 8 at ang natira yung ano number natin or the missing term natin so ngayon divide tayo dito solution natin 96 divided by 8 so 9 divided by 8 is 1 1 times 8 is 8 so get the difference the difference is 1 and bring down 6 so mayroon tayong 16 16 divided by 8 is 2 2 times 8 is 16 then get the difference the difference is 0 so dito nakikita natin na ang ating ang value ng ating n is 12 so ngayon alamin natin kung ano ang dalawang number natin sa ratio so 5 tapos substitute natin ang value ng ating unknown number which is 12 then 5 times 12 is 60 so ito ang ating unang number pangalawang number naman natin ay yung 3 times in so sulat natin ang 3 tapos substitute the value of in which is 12 so 3 times 12 is 36 so ang dalawang number na hinahanap natin ay yung 60 at saka 36 Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video.